So I'm here with Antonio of Joshua Farms at our local farmers market in Ashland, Oregon. And Antonio, can you just share with um, our friends out there a little bit more of why you chose to go organic and what happened to you? Well, I chose to be organic because I, I did work for Associated Fruit for 28 years, grown pears, and I, I was at the pesticides, you know, and then, and then I got so sick of pesticides that hurt my nerve system and my sinus. So then, 1999, I quit working in the orchard because I was in so much pain. Then I went to the doctor and they you know it hurt my nerve system, my sinus, and then Year 2000, I changed to start eating organic, and then I became an or, organic farmer, so that way I can raise all my products, and now I feel great, and I can work all day long, two hours if I have to, and I, I have the energy. How did you know that it was the pesticides from the pear farm that were in your body? I mean, how did that all come together? Well, because I, I was over there working, spraying practically every every day, you know, and all of a sudden, you know, I start feeling all these pains in my muscles, went to the doctors, and they can't find it. It was on and on, and then finally I quit because the pain it was so bad after 28 years, you know. So it wasn't the doctors that told you, it was your own intuition of just feeling this has to be from the spray? Yes, right. It was it. But, uh, but then I went back after I quit working over there and they, they checked my nerve system and they, they got hurt by the pesticides and my sinus. I even got two uh, surgeries in my nose. Two surgeries? Yeah, two oh surgeries. And, that. and then ever since I've been in organic year 2000, I haven't been go back to the doctors. Wow. So I know organic is a little bit more money, but I've been saving a lot of money and doctors and medical. Yeah, lots of money lots on of medical. Money. <laughs> medical. Exactly. So wow. I recommend for you guys to start eating organic as much as possible. And tell me what you said about now in your diet that you try to eat as much as possible, but when you go below a certain percentage, you notice a few things again? Well, what when I go below 80, I mean below 60%, then I can start feeling those icky pains and my muscles and all that, uh, then I stay above 80% to a 90, then I feel great. Wow. And what kinds of organic produce are you growing? Can well, you tell us I a little bit? Well, I grow figs, cantaloupes, strawberries, and some watermelons, but the season of the watermelons is over. It's over. But I grow most all the veggies. And do you find there there's a, a lot more challenges with growing organic than when you were growing conventional or similar challenges? Or or similar challenges. You just got to do different, farm in different ways, you know. You just have to use a lot of campus and organic fertilizers, mm -hmm. said, and Healthy soil. Healthy soil. Yeah, living and soil, living right? Living soil, right. And I'm making, I'm making my soil healthy, yes. Put in the straw, organic straw, and organic. Uh, manures, you know, organic manures. Wonderful. And I just carry those in the fall. And this, the, the, the soil in there and leave it already next for the following year. Right. Then yeah. I start planting. But it's season. Then the season, yeah. Then I start planting in May all the way to September. Wow. Well, God bless you for being an organic farmer, and I'm so grateful that you're healthy now, and may all your family and children and grandchildren be healthy and have organic food. Well, thank you. Yes. Thank you. Have a great day. Same to you.